Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another weekly talk about weight loss and, and health journey and all the things. <laughs> I got to talk to you guys a good bit last week about um, how I was doing, kind of going off plan a little bit, how my weight was kind of going a little up and just kind of staying the same the last like a month or so. And I wasn't planning on doing another like weigh-in type video for a little while because like I said, they've been getting a little bit boring, but there, I just wanted to talk to you guys again about some things that I am having to learn after 30 years almost, <laughs> 25 of trying to lose weight and like struggling my whole entire life. And so uh, here we are again. And I really want to have this conversation because I feel like diet culture, um, it's, it is a billions of dollar industry and so much is placed on weight loss, you know, like the scale moving. And when I first started this journey, most of you guys know I'm on Optavia. I am now an Optavia coach. I love doing that. If you want in more information about any of that, definitely contact me. I would be happy to, you know, help you out. I love the program. Y'all know this. It's been successful for me. I've lost over 60 pounds. And, you know, measuring weight loss with the scale, measuring our journey with the scale, I do think it's important. Like, I can say to you, I've lost over 60 pounds, and you can kind of visualize that. But when we're talking about weight loss week by week, it can be really frustrating because our bodies are not made to have a weight loss that looks like completely like this. I will tell you, this has been an up and down journey for me. You know, when I first started out, I was losing very consistently two to three pounds every single week. It was, you know, mentally easy because I was seeing results. The problem comes, and I've seen this with myself and with of most of my clients. When the scale doesn't move for a week, two weeks, a month, we're human and we get super frustrated. And I get it because you're doing all this hard work. You want to see results. But because of our, I think, like diet culture minds and our society that puts so much into the number on the scale, we talk about non-scale victories, but we always put them like underneath scale victories, right? Like we all want scale victories. That's what we really want. We'll settle for the non-scale victories, but the scale, that is what we put our like everything into. And I get it. Like I've been there and I've really been trying to rethink the scale because for the last six weeks or so, it has stayed around 189, 190 pounds. And, um, you know, it, it has been a little bit frustrating. I'll go, you know, down 0.5, then I'll stay the same, then I'll go down 0.8, then I'll go up 0.5, and it's just been like that. And it's the, the wrong thing for me to do would be to go, this isn't working. What's the point? And I'm stopping. Here comes Nate. <laughs> Hold on. We're all good. Um, filming with the kids home this summer is just interesting. <laughs> uh, but the wrong thing for me to do, like how dumb would it be for me to go, forget it. The scale's not moving. I'm just going to go back to the way I was eating before plan. And if, you know, if I'm not going to lose weight, then might as well just quit. Like it's easy to lose track of how far I've come. And the consistency of, of not worrying, like, no, no matter what the scale says, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. No matter if the scale goes up, down, stays the same, I'm going to be consistent. That is what's going to be make you successful in the long run. And so these last six weeks, I've been, you know, about the same. And I really have mentally tried to work on not letting it bother me. You know, no, it's okay. Like, I started working out. Muscle, muscle makes weighs more than fat. You know, my body has lost a lot of weight and it sometimes just needs a, a break from that. And it's going to hang out at 189 because maybe it feels good right there for a few, for a little while. But 
if you keep doing what you're the plan, it will eventually move. You just cannot, <laughs> you cannot get discouraged. You can't. You just got to keep moving forward. And so after weeks of this, y'all, weeks of this, and I, and it's so funny because I've run into so many people who haven't seen me in a few weeks and they're like, oh my gosh, you look like you've lost so much more weight. And I'm like, I haven't. It's like I'm about the same since the last time you saw me. And they're like, what? You look so different. And so that was encouraging, those non-scale victories of just people noticing more and more. But this week, I had to come on here and tell y'all I lost 3.6 this week. And I feel like with weight loss, this has happened to me in the past where you kind of stay the same and then it comes off in one big like, whoosh, like whoosh or whatever. And so um, I don't know if you are kind of hung up like I was at a certain point or maybe even like say you have been kind of laxing on your plan and you're getting weary and you're going off plan too much. Uh, this is your encouragement to don't don't lose all of your hard work that you've done. You, No matter if you've lost five pounds, 10 pounds, if you've lost dress sizes and you're not tracking pounds or whatever, you're just eating better and you're feeling better, don't don't get discouraged and give up on that. I am so glad that I didn't stop, you know, and I just kept on going because eventually that scale is going to move again. Um, and I'm really working hard to put more emphasis. I really want non-scale victories to be here and scale victories to be here because at any time, I really practiced this this week. Anytime people tell me, you look so good, you look amazing. I say, thank you. I feel really good. And I've really been trying to put the emphasis on how I feel, not on how I look. I'm grateful for fitting into smaller clothes. I am, it's so much fun. But the biggest success for me is how I feel, the energy I have, the way it feels to like, okay, this is a non scale victory from last week. And I didn't even mention on the video, but when we went to the Sight and Sound Theater, I don't know if you've ever been there, it's pretty tight. Like there's people, like the rows, you're you're kind of squeezed in there, like from the people in front of you and the people beside you. And I didn't even have to have the thought, I wonder if this seat is going to be too tight for me. I didn't even have to have the thought. I just knew like I would be fine because I'm in a smaller body. Um... You know, when I, this past week we went to a water park, the last time I was at that water park, I was 250 pounds and I did not put a bathing suit on, which I regret because I should have been enjoying the time with my children. And instead I felt miserable. I did not put a bathing suit on. I did not go down any water slides and it was a totally different experience this last time. I wore a bathing suit. I went down the water slides. And I didn't have to wonder, like, what's the weight limit for this or whatever. I just had confidence that it was going to be fine. And that, like, the mental freedom of that has been the biggest thing. So um, focusing on those non-scale victories. And also people are, right now, uh, most people that I talk to are asking me, because I'm getting closer, what's your goal weight? What is your goal weight? Like, what do you, when are you going to be done with this? And honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know what my goal weight is. I know I'm not there yet. Uh, there's still some weight I want to lose, but I am getting closer to it. And I haven't been this size in so long. I don't know what my body is going to look like in another 10 pounds, 20 pounds, how I'm going to feel. Um, so I'm not saying my goal weight is 170 pounds because I don't know how I'm going to feel then. I know that I still think I'll feel better, a little bit lighter than I am now. Um, I still have some back pain, and I think it's related to uh, some of the weight I carry. Um, so I'm not there yet, but I think I'll know it when I get there. And it's not going to be a number on the scale that tells me I'm there. I think it's going to be the way I feel. So I don't know if this is helpful for you, but it's been something that's been on my heart for the last six weeks is... I really don't care what the scale says. I know what I'm doing is working. I know that I'm feeling really good. I know that my whole life has changed. And if the scale stops for a little bit, okay, fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, but I'm not going to give up. 
I'm not going to say, well, forget it because we want to keep this weight off for life, right? Like we don't want to go backwards and start gaining again. And so when my clients have these weeks where they are staying the same and they're frustrated and I tell them like, this was a great practice for maintenance, you know, like you stay the same. That's great. You're going to have to stay the same for years once you get to your goal weight. Uh, the scale, like the weight loss phase is a small part of our life, hopefully. Like I know a lot of us have been at this for years, but the weight loss phase is a small part of our life. Most of our life is going to be staying the same, maintaining. Like I stayed 189 for, you know, several weeks. Um, our bodies are going to have to do that. And so anyway, I've just been super, super grateful for this whole process and learning even more like the mental work is the hardest part. (laughs) You know, those of us that have dieted for so long, you know, like your mind and how you think about the scale. I, I totally get why people like break their scale and throw it away because it can play mind games on you. Um, I want to be able, it's like, it's like the whole thing with moderation that I'm praying for that I talked about last week. I really want to eat all foods eventually. I really want to trust myself around being able to eat a small portion and not go crazy and not binge. It's the same thing with the scale. I really want to be able to weigh myself and not have all the bad thoughts that go along with it. And I'm praying to God for, for victory in that area and he'll, he'll help. And he is, he is the one that's teaching me all this stuff. Like, do you think God cares about the number on the scale? I mean, of course he wants you to be your healthiest version of yourself. Of course he wants you to take care of the body he gave you, but that number on the scale does not define you. It does not have anything to do with how much he loves you. And so I think we put so much pressure on a silly number (laughs) as opposed to all of the amazing things that happened to us during this process. So anyway, if you guys, if you guys can relate, let me know in the comments down below. It's been so fun to get to share with you guys this journey, um, get to share with David, like we're both losing weight together. We are almost 60 pounds down both. Like I'm at like 63, he's at like 57. So we're like averaging right at 60 pounds each. Um, of course he started a little bit later than me. Uh, but, and and that's the thing, like you can't compare yourself to what someone else is doing. If I sat here and said, well, David started like three or four months after me and he's almost caught up to my weight loss, I would be really discouraged. But guess what? His body is not my body. My body does things differently than his body. We are all on our own journey, but we can lend support to each other. It does help to have people that support us, but we're not comparing our numbers and our day with someone else. Stay in your own lane with what you're doing and uh, ask God for help when you need it and lean on, you know, lean on if you're with Optavia, lean on your coach, lean on the support of other people around you, lean on the community. And it's really, really helpful, but ultimately this is a personal journey and you know, this, this is a lifelong journey. So I love you guys. Let me know if, uh, if you can relate to any of this in the comments. I know for so many of us women, man, that we have put so much pressure on ourselves over the years about the scale. When my number was high, I didn't want to go to the doctor fully because I didn't want them to weigh me and know how much I weighed. I didn't want to go to the driver's license office and put the number that I actually was on this on, the, on my license. And now, like, the number that's on my license is totally too high. Like, I'm going to look forward to when I get to change that to be lower. Um, but, you know, that number, it does not define who you are. So, anyway, there's so much pressure we put on ourselves, though so much pressure. And it's when people see you, the first thing they're going to ask when you've lost a lot of weight is how much have you lost? And that's fine. But it's like, there's so much more that's happened besides just that, you know? So I love you guys. If you like these type of videos and you want to see more like it, make sure you give the vlog or the video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new. I don't want you to miss out on any future videos. If you are interested in Optivia, let me know. I would give you any information I have and I would love to have more people to coach. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you later.